What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back as all again with another art video, man. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, make sure you click post notification so you will be notified every time you boys out some heat. In today's video, I will be teaching you guys how to sculpt on a app that go by the name Nomad. You can download it on your iPad. Make sure you get you an Apple Pencil. So you'll be able to follow along with this video and you can download this app on your phone too. It's for, you can use this app on your phone, but without further ado, I'm finna teach you guys how to sculpt for beginners. We finna sculpt Patrick from SpongeBob. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, as soon as you open it up, you gonna see this shape, this cylinder. So all you wanna do, Wait, let me make my um let me make all my settings factory settings sort of it'll look just like okay bet cool all right first thing we're gonna do we're gonna come over here to this drag tool and we're gonna make his head so you're gonna drag that up with the drag tool that's the top shape of his head and as you see this little square over here at your top right it's like a circle square slash square you see it you look at the angles from this right here so this the right side and this the front view so let's go to the side view and push Push this in. You know what I'm saying? Then we're gonna bring that like that. You feel me? Come back to the front view. We're gonna drag this out like this. And make it, make it more plump. I'm looking at a um, reference too. As you notice, like while I'm pulling this clay out. I'm rotating it from each angle so I can see how it looks from each side. Because you don't want to be working on one side and not rotating it and not being able to see the other sides. Another thing too, we're going to push a little dim in right here like this. Just going to push it in and kind of get used to that drag tool because you're going to be able to sculpt a lot of things just making the shape by just moving your clay around with that one tool. Okay. So that's going to be his mouth, obviously. So we just pushing this in. Like that. So make this come straight across like this. Also... We want to bring this forward like that. All right. We got a nice little shape for his mouth. We're going to pull this up just a little, a little more. We're going to pull these corners out just a tad bit more like that. We're going to drag this on out and make it belly. We're going to make it belly out of this part. So oh, boom, I'm gonna drag this shape just like this. Drag that out like that. You feel me? Make it a little wider. You know, Patrick, heavy set. Pull this out like this. Okay. Boom. That's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good, you feel me? Okay. Now that we got his body, let's come up here and let's, wait, let's go to grid, not grid, voxel. To the very bottom, you wanna click voxel. And then we can click wire so you can see all the little details we added to our clay. Let's go to our smooth tool and smooth all them imperfections out real quick. Smooth it out. 
You feel me? Now what I'm finna do, I'm finna make his his mouth with the crease breast. So we're going boom. Let's get it right. Like this. Then we're gonna come. Come on over like that. You feel me? Go to our clay brush, click sub, and we gonna erase from that line a little bit. Like this. Erase a little bit. So what I'm gonna do, we gonna voxel remesh one time and smooth this out on the inside of his mouth. And I'm gonna go to my inflate tool and we gonna make a tongue like this. Boom. Clay, uncheck sub so we can add clay. Finish adding the detail to this tongue like this. Uh -huh. Make this tongue come out a little bigger. Boom. Like this. Let's go to my smooth tool. Move that out some. Alright. Let's, let's come up here to our the little option right next to the folder. You want to click add. And then we want to click UV sphere. After you click that, you want to go to your gizmo. And this little orange ring, you want to click onto it and scale it down. And then you want to click the blue arrow to bring it forward. And then you want to hit the green, hold the green arrow to bring it up. And you want to bring it up. And then you want to grab the orange circle and drag it in to make it smaller so we can create the eyes. We want to make sure we got our front view selected. Bring this on up. This I'm gonna scale it down some more, bring it over about right there. See if we like that shape. Bring it up a little more. About right there. Scale it down. Make sure you select front view so you can make sure you're even or where you want your eye placement. After you do do that, you want to hit validate, validate your eye. Then you want to come back over here, back to the top left, on the right of the folder. We're going to click, while, while the circle is still selected, you want to hit add. And then you want to click mirror. And now we got the two eyes. Let me see. Now I'm going to double click with my two fingers to step back. Because I want to move my eye over a little more right here and let me go back to add mirror just to see where is it and yeah i like it right there so bit now we're gonna validate it after you want to keep it and we're gonna drag these eyes down grab the orange make them a little bigger go right there just like that you feel me Let's go back to our Patrick body by selecting it. All you got to do is tap it with your finger. We can paint it real quick. You feel me? Don't paint them. 
his body. And let's change the color of our background. Not like that. Let me change this image to some blue. We'll use blue. All right. Let's put a light out there too. So we're going to add a light. Let this light make it face the character. Bring the brightness up. Yeah. Okay. Select these eyes, right? After you select select the eye, we want to come over here to smooth. And turn on smoothing so to make all the all that smooth. You want to come down here to your color. Let's go to white and let's make that eye shine. So take the roughness down and say paint. So now we got that eye. Then we're going to go to paint to our paint tool. Move it to the color black. And we're going so you see how pixelated that look how we gonna fix that is we're gonna come up here and we're gonna hit subdivide we're gonna hit subdivide one more time okay cool So his eyes was a little smaller on the meaning. So a bit like that. We got Patrick eyes. Let's uh select this body. I wanna click make it smooth. Also, let's change the color by holding onto his body so the color can change on the circle over here. And let's make the texture of it smooth so paint all and now we got it all over paint and you know what we should have did we should have put his tongue on a different layer but it's all good let's uh make the inner mouth area let's find the color we want to use and we ain't gonna make that shine so much so we don't we can change bring the shine down like switch the color up a little bit like this okay cool now we're gonna do is color this in so just like i said when you when you don't like all the pixels in your paint all you gotta do is come up here and hit subdivide and it'll let you paint it without all the pixels so let's paint his, paint his mouth real quick and to be honest we, we might get rid of his tongue so how we gonna do that to get rid of that tongue we're gonna go to our clay brush and we're gonna click sub and we're just gonna strip away the clay to make it back flat and then after we make it back flat we're gonna smooth it on out you feel me we're gonna smooth that area back out like that bam so we got all that organized like that we're gonna go to our inflate tool. Make sure. Let me see what I'm doing. I'm using my inflate tool to close the lips. I make them poke out a little bit. So, we got that. Let's go add another shape, add a new shape, add a 
UV sphere. Um, we can go ahead and validate it. Let's go ahead and smooth it out right there. Let's go ahead and make it the color of its tone. Probably right there, like this. Paint that. Let's go to the gizmo. And with this circle, green circle, we're going to pull it down. And then with the red circle, we're going to pull it forward like this. And then with the blue, we're going to hold it and pull it in. And then with the blue arrow, we're going to hold the blue arrow and pull it up. And then with the green arrow, we're going to pull it down. You know what I'm saying? And then with the orange circle, we're going to bring it in so we can make it smaller. With the green circle, we're going to bring it down so we can flatten it. Just like that. Then we can push it back and bring it down. Bring it forward. Bring it over. Red circle. And bring it up with the green circle like that. And then push it back with the blue arrow. Now we got our tongue. You feel me? So, while we still got our tongue selected, let's go to crease. Let's um, turn off symmetry right here to your far left. Turn off the symmetry. And let's put a line right in the middle. But make sure you invert the crease. Make sure so we can okay bam and now we got the tongue it's a little creaky that's why you need to make sure you got front view on and that's all we're gonna do like that okay perfect now we got a tongue. Now we're going to make his legs. We're going to create a new shape. We're just going to go to add. UV sphere. We're going to paint the UV sphere. By selecting the body first. Coming over to paint. Making sure we hold us the body down. So the, um, the paint can go in a circle on the side. Select our circle by tapping it. And then coming over here to paint all. After you hit paint all, you want to come up to the top. And you want to hit smooth shading. So we can smooth it out. Go back to our gizmo. And bring this down like this. And then you want to make this circle small. And bring it out like this. And then we're going to bring it to the side. And we're going to validate it. Go to our drag tool. Because these are going to be his little toes. So. Now. I'm going to. Push this back on this body. Like that. And then we're going to. Make this foot go this way like this. Boom. Also, we're going to clone that foot. And we're going to create his arm. So we're going to bring it up. Bring it down like this. We're going to rotate it. So you got to get used to working with these little arrows. Because that's how you move things around. So bring this up. Use this red circle. And rotate it like that. Use this green circle to rotate it again. Use the red arrow to pull it back. Use the orange circle to bring it down in size. Red circle, rotate. Okay, green arrow to push inward. Red circle, let's rotate it out a little more. Bam, right there. So, we're going to select it. 
go to our drag tool and we're gonna make this arm come down a little further like that and now we're gonna select these two shapes at the same time by coming over here and checking finding out which one they are and hitting the check mark on both of the objects that you want to merge and click join after you merge the hand with the foot you got to come to add and you want to go to mirror and now we just place it on both sides validate join children so we can put them all together and now we if we want to come back to the arm and just tweak it a little bit we can and it also do it to the other side so boom got that going let's bring these toes out a little more boom let's grab his body one time and make his stomach a little bigger like this now what I want to do bring his backside down like that and we gonna merge the body with the hands and I'm probably gonna have to repaint that mouth so let's uh come back over here let's find out which one is the body okay what shape oh okay okay I, I didn't know I made a, a extra shape okay cool okay this is his arms so select that and this is his stomach where is his uh head at we gotta find out where is uh which one is his body i guess that's it okay let's merge it all together join okay cool merge this body together and then after you merge the body together you want to come to voxels at the bottom and we're gonna move this on up probably like to i like the two 200 two or 300 remesh so now after you do that we want to come through with our smooth brush and iron all this out iron all the imperfections so we can make it look like that's truly connected, you know? Um, fix all that real quick, got that boy. Now we gotta put him on some clothes, cause he out here. He out here ain't got on no clothes, man. The kids out here, Patrick, boy, put your clothes on, my boy. Let me see. So. How we gonna make it close? We gonna How do I wanna make this close? What's an easy way? Uh we gonna come to the masking tool. Select your masking tool. And we gonna pretty much draw on his clothes like this. You just wanna draw it on, right? Make sure you're getting all areas of where his clothes will be. So draw this on, rotate around your model like this. Go join his pants. Now, now let's come up just like this. Boom. Okay, cool. We done drew, drew on his pants. What you want to do, you want to come to the top. You want to select that little masking logo. 
and then you want to hit shell it should already be on shell and then you want to hit um let's see thickness you want to move your thickness up move thickness up how big you want it I say mine, I put mine about, about right there. All right, after you move your thickness up to where you want it, you want to go back down to where you see shell, and you want to hit extract. So now, it just made you some pants, my brother, some shorts. So after you do that, you want to come to it. It should already be selected on it, and then we just make it the color his pants be on the show. It's shorts. So let's make it this the color. Right there. Let's select Patrick again. Because you want to come back to your mask. And then you want to hit clear. So your mask can be clear. Make sure you hit clear. Okay. Okay, we cleared our mask. So now go back to our shorts. Smooth this on out at the top like this. Smooth the little corners out so they'll look more comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Come to our drag tool right here. Come to the drag tool. Pull it, pull, pull the britches up. You don't need to be sagging. Pull that up right there, right there, like that. Come right here. Smooth this part out. You see how smooth that's looking? Then after we smooth it out, we gonna look at it, look at the wires on it. Let's go to our paint tool. Let's get the color, get the color purple. And let's paint them little flowers that be on it, or whatever you call them. The little pattern that be on this. And that's too pixelated for me, so I'm gonna come up here and we're going to go to subdivide to move that up some, some so we can add some detail uh oh all right and then we're just going to draw on my boy designs you feel me just like that easy peasy Easy if you so I don't know why it's bleeding through. But it's all good. Hopefully that fixed our problem and it sure did. So now we got your boy, Patrick. Let's uh do his uh his little chest, his little chest area. Let's let in, bring this out with like that. Let's go to crease. Put that right there. The belly button. And there you have it, boys and girls. Your boy Patrick. Let me um boost up the quality. And, and these are my settings. If y'all want to know, you can come over here and play with the settings. Shallow depth of field and all that. If you want to blur, you can mess with. Just so much you can mess with in here. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure y'all leave a comment in the comment section. I miss you guys. Let me know if y'all want to see more tutorials like this on this 3D modeling. And I just finished teaching y'all the new wave. Just let me know in the comment section if y'all like these style of videos. And I stay dropping them. Make sure you stay tuned. More heat coming soon. And we 